Real Racing 3 has uh, officially been launched on the BlackBerry 10 platform. It has been on uh, other platforms for quite a while and now it's available on the BlackBerry 10. So that is terrific because it's a very great racing game. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things here. One of the things you'll see on the left there I pulled up is the leaderboard. And that is friends you have uh, on Facebook who actually play the game. So it, what it does is it circle, uh, cycles through um, certain things such as um, number of uh, friends as well as the distance traveled, uh, bonuses collected, money earned, cars owned, etc. So kind of cool, it's, it's integrated within Facebook. Another thing you can check out here is you can see your overall stats. So as you can see, I've uh, accomplished 13 races. I've raced almost two hours worth on here. So um, really cool detail information you can get uh, within the game. If I hit the green button there, you can see what is on sale right now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't qualify to get that car else I probably would. And then you'll see your two out of 58 cars available. I have two purchased. Um, and then you get the plus with the car sign there, and that will actually get you to uh, the actual car purchasing. Um, on the bottom you'll see the options, basic options such as um, controls and audio, all that kind of good stuff. And then towards the bottom you'll see um, your ranking, or sorry, achievements um, is what I pulled up there. And you can also pull up kind of cool information. Um, here's where you can um, like them on Facebook and, and join the forums with that. But you can actually pull up some really neat information if I can remember where it's at. Um, I can't right now, but so we'll get to that later when I when I show you that part. But let's go into a race here. Um, so you'll see in the bottom there, I got I have a couple of icons. There's one and number four down there that are gold, and those are ones I have completed. Um, all three races or all the races in that uh, box for first place. So I have I have the first place in all three of them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix something I have not done yet just to throw my game off just a little bit. Um, I have the second car unlocked, the Ford Focus. You do start off with um, the Nissan there, but I did need something with a little bit more power. So on the bottom you'll see there's service, upgrades, and respray. Service, after you use your car for X amount of races, you actually do have to service the vehicle. And um, if you don't, it will drop the perform overall performance. So it does kick take coins, or sorry, cash in the game, and there is a wait time, you can uh, expedite the wait time by simply um, using your coins, which is, I have 55, you can see in the top up corner there. Um, I won't go ahead and um, service, I don't need to, but there are upgrades available, and this is for every single vehicle. I have two installed currently, and uh, I did do, I did read a little bit about um, some tips on this game, and one of the tips I had read was that um, don't focus so much on upgrading your vehicle, focus more on buying brand new vehicles. Um, better bang for your buck is what people are telling me. But if you do choose upgrade, that is up, uh, available here in the game. Um, you'll be able to improve your uh, acceleration, speed, um, controlling, so cool things like that. If you're Gran Turismo fam, a fan, this is a game that is, uh, it's a, it's a poor man's Gran Turismo. And it does a pretty good job at it, I want to say. So let's go ahead and get into a race here. Let's see how this game performs. Now, this is a, um, a timed match, I believe they call it. I can't remember the extra terminology they use, but it's, uh, everyone that's on the screen there on the left, the competitors, they're actual users of the game. They actually play the game. So what the game does is it takes their time, puts it inside your 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 actual race you're going to be doing, and it makes it realistic. So it, it's kind of cool. It's not true multiplayer where you're actually playing against a person right now, but you are still um, it, it has that multiplayer type of a, a feel to it. So I have my control set on tilt, and the game is on automatic acceleration. I don't know if you can turn that off or not. Um, so it, it's really cool because the the um, the actual turning of the game, the actual uh, feel of it, is really smooth. 
um, I do like that a lot you know so if you're needing to do a tight corner um, you have no problem doing it you know it's really smooth and I crashed a little bit there um, if you do crash the game you do lose money um, they call it clean race bonus I believe so every time you crash you do lose some money and some of them actually pretty big amount of money you can lose so try not to crash it is the objective and we got a pile up coming up here Let's see if I can swing my way around and obviously you want to stay off the grass it's going to slow you down and I did a terrible job at that so you want to try to sneak around here and like I said, this is, I have not raced on this course yet, so I'm definitely not familiar with it. Um, the sound in the game isn't terrible. It's not groundbreaking by any means. It's, like I guess it's a poor man's Gran Turismo if you want to pull it like a, like, call it like that. Um, but that's pretty close to what it is. This 21 guy don't want me to get around him. I'm gonna force my way around him. Now I have had a couple glitches, not glitches, um, um, slowdowns in the game where it, it would kind of just the frame drop, the frames will drop drastically, so that could definitely throw off your race quite a bit. Um, it's kind of random when it happens, normally it's in the opening moments of the game. So hopefully EA gets on that and fixes that issue up, because obviously with racing games you need to have the best frames you possibly can, smooth experience possible. Every single second in the game counts. blue guy here and got a clocked in achievement I wish this game was uh, was one of those blackberry games where you can see when people get achievements within the game that's I like that but I don't think any of EA games are are in that yet so I'm looks I'm gonna finish seventh here kind of sucks but either way I complete the race so, uh, for every race you complete, you do get money, and you see there the clean, uh, clean race bonus. I was penalized because I did have a couple crashes. Fame level. Every time you level up, you get more of those gold coins up there, where it says 55. You can share your results on Facebook. Um, you can see where you did in the game overall. So I started off 16th, ended up 7th. Uh, the best record was 256. So I definitely got some catching up to do on that. And I can see the condition dropped a lot. Now, the condition will drop more if you crash, if you do a lot of crashes in the game. So you definitely want to avoid as much of that as you possibly can. Um, gives you the option to go ahead and upgrade right away um, once you finish the races. So. Um, Real Racing 3 for the BlackBerry 10 platform, um, definitely check it out if you are a, a racing fan by any means. Um, it's, a, it's a fun game, lots of fun, um, try to get you know uh, more uh, Facebook friends to download it. I believe it is multi-platform in terms of it, uh, of, the, of the, the time match thing. Um, so, you know, if you have a friend on, I, on the Android system or iOS, um, you know, definitely tell them to check out the game and, and compete against you makes it fun and interesting.